Hey, what's up? It's Paul with PM Designs, and this is what we will be talking about today. It's the uh, DLC Dot Line Corp Co. Corp. Dot Line Corp. Dot com. Um, I'm gonna go ahead if you want to pause the video and give a little stuff on the background on the back of this little page to read. There you go. There's the. Um. Basically what this is, it's a rubber collapsible lens hood. Um, picked this up, as I mentioned in my other video, with the 85 1.8, which if you haven't checked out that video and you're interested in picking up a new lens or for you, for a friend, whatever, gift, um, do check out that video. Um, very impressive lens. Um, when I picked up that lens, I asked the guy, you know, I was looking on my way there, I looked up what the uh, Canon lens hood was, and um, I, I basically, you know, decided, alright, when I go down to get the lens, I'm, I'm also asked about getting a lens hood, you know, just to do like what they say, you know, knock out some of the stray light and get rid of some of the lens flare and stuff. So, I picked up this, uh, you know, you open up the package and you let me hand it to me just like this collapsed, which I'm like... You know, I know you just said I didn't need much, but, um, so I'm like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, and I push on I'm like, oh, okay, it collapses. So I'm looking, and I really didn't actually, like, sit there, because I'm like, it's ten bucks, whatever. But when I went to put it on the lens, um, I noticed that on this back part, which I don't know how well it's going to focus, right up, right here, you have your, where it threads on, because it's, as you can see on here, 58 millimeter. These are sold for the filter thread of your lens. Let me throw that out there. Um, so this just threads on, and I thought that this was a, a rubber piece or a plastic piece. I actually originally thought it was plastic until I kind of felt it. I'm like, oh wait, plastic doesn't really get cold. And uh, so this is actually a metal thread, and then the rubber lens hood part. The uh, good thing about this, you screw it on your lens, and when you're done with it, you can collapse it, and then it's threaded to accept filter, you know, with filter threads all the way on the inside too, right here. So you can just pop your lens cap on there. Um, I don't know if how it would work if you needed to attach filters. If you should put your, uh, I'm assuming you'd probably want to attach this first, and then put whatever filters on this side. But you'd have to experiment with your lens. I haven't tried it, and I don't know. Depending on what lens you're using it on, it may cause some vignetting and stuff. If if this gets into the shot a little bit or something, but um, like I said, this is ten dollars, and it threads on. And one of the good things is you can leave it on there, collapse it, and it kind of acts as a little bit of a bumper around the, your lens. So if they're all sitting next to each other, and they have a little bit of space, they'll this will bump into the body versus having, you know, the plastic or metal of the lens body slamming into another lens, you know, in the, in the car, walking around, whatever. Um, so that is a little bit of a bonus. Plus, since it stores like this, you can just stick it wherever in your bag. It takes up very little room. Um, that's about it on, as far as that this is concerned um figure ten dollars give it a shot and um i've actually i want I, I had to take it off my 85 before i did this video because i just threaded it on there and just i'm leaving it on there and but the one thing i did want to mention is that since it is it just threads on there pretty much with me all of my lenses are either a 58 millimeter or a 52 and then i have um a step up adapter or step down adapter, whichever way, um, to go from the 52 to the 58. So I can put this on my 40 and see, uh, you know, I'm going to experiment with each lens and see which ones it'll work on and which ones it won't. And uh, that's that. So $10, I'm sure, you can, I'm, I'm sure they have other similar products online, Amazon, eBay, a little cheaper, different brands, whatever. So, uh, if you've tried these out, um, let me know in the comments how, uh, what your experience was, how they hold up, 
Um, if you've used them and had a, they've been a complete failure. I mentioned that too. So thank you for watching. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Thank you.